Tonight, Michigan Medicine is pushing everyone to practice aggressive social distancing. Their experts project if we all do our part, we could have 65% fewer patients in the hospitals come early May. Dr. Frank George here to explain exactly what they're asking us to do and how they're preparing for more patients. Frank? Yeah, Sandra and Devin, Michigan Medicine released two projections today, one with aggressive social distancing and one with less aggressive actions. They hope it'll demonstrate what a difference we can each make in flattening the curve, even if we haven't seen it yet. This chart shows two scenarios of what could happen uh, at Michigan Medicine in terms of a number of hospitalized patients. The blue line is less social distancing, and the orange line is if we have aggressive social distancing. The higher curve represents a worst case scenario. In the model with less social distancing, the peak census we project on May 4th would be about 5,800 patients in our hospitals. With the less lower model with aggressive social distancing, the census on that same day would be about 2,000 patients. That's 65% fewer patients. So what does aggressive social distancing mean? Staying at home, except for urgent needs like groceries or picking up medicine. It means not inviting over neighbors, family members, or friends who don't live in your same household. It means keeping businesses closed. It means keeping schools closed. The goal is to have contact with the fewest possible individuals outside of your household. Michigan Medicine is also working to increase capacity for patients. We're now assessing locations outside of the four walls uh, of our hospitals uh, on our athletic campus for the potential to create a field hospital of 500 beds or more. The initial location we're evaluating and prepping for is in the indoor track uh, at the South Athletics facility on State Street. Now, the intent is for the field hospital to be a step-down unit for COVID-19 patients who are stable to create more capacity for critically ill patients inside the hospital. Now, Michigan Medicine is also looking at other alternative sites, including dorms and local hotels that would be willing to take patients who are recovering but aren't able to go home yet, for example, because of immune-compromised family members. Another angle this we haven't talked a lot about, about what the folks that are left at home. But, uh, Doc, any indication yet how much capacity Michigan Medicine has left right now? Well, they said they expect to reach physical capacity in their hospitals sometimes within the next two weeks. And that's why they're preparing alternate sites and why they're really asking everyone to reduce the need for yeah, that. I understand. All right, Doc, we'll talk to you again soon.